Welcome to this Tobacco University video. We'll be going over carbon filters for odor control in cannabis production facilities. All right, if you're looking at reducing odors of your cannabis plants with carbon filters, you've come to the right place. So first off, how do carbon filters work in general? If you ever kind of inspected one, this is kind of what you may see. And carbon filters simply bind to odor molecules and prevent them from remaining free floating in the air. Activated carbon has a high amount of surface area per volume, so it is a great contact while still maintaining a high porosity, so you're not restricting your airflow all that much. A single gram of activated carbon uh, features a surface area of over 3,000 meters squared, so that's kind of an amazing amount of surface area. And what that translates to is contact points that you can have to reduce the odor. Now fans and filters that we may have in our grow facility. Exhaust fans will pull or push air through the carbon filter before exiting the grow space entirely. So this is why we typically see our fans gonna be moving air anyway. Attaching a carbon filter can reduce odors and ensure those air being cleaned uh, to the outside environment there. Now keep in mind that humidity does impact the effectiveness. And humidity levels above 70% is kind of the limit of effectiveness of carbon filters. So if you're getting 70 or 75 or above, the effectiveness is going to be severely reduced. Simply because the water molecules in the air essentially clog up the carbon pore structure, not allowing contact with the air. Think about it as really fine droplets of water, limiting that high surface area of the carbon really to interact with the air molecules. Now push or pull air through a carbon filter. It's kind of like the option. Do I pull the air as we see over uh, here? Do I pull the air kind of through that carbon filter? Or here am I pushing it um, kind of through? So some growers will pull air through the carbon filter first and then uh, to a fan before exiting out the structure. Other growers will have the air enter the fan and then the filter before exiting to the outside. But for maximum control, or odor control at least, growers will utilize both systems where they'll pull air through, uh, take out the odors, and then they'll run it through another carbon filter to absolutely ensure no odors are escaping their grow tent. So where would you place your carbon filter? So keep in mind that it should be mounted high up in the grow space so the hottest air will be removed. This will provide also a cooling effect that so helps with your ventilation system, You're just kind of adding it as a component. In addition, if you're enriching the space with carbon dioxide, this will remove the least amount of carbon dioxide since CO2 is heavier than air. So mounting that carbon filter high removes the hottest air with the least amount of CO2, still allowing ventilation, but without allowing kind of a competing systems. Lastly, for your carbon filters, a lot of times they look like they're white cotton-based filters, but really what that is is the pre-filter. And before air comes into contact with the carbon, it should pass through a pre-filter. We'll simply filter out particulates, not the odors. Why would you have a pre-filter if you're not really doing odor control? Well, this is important because if the air with high amounts of particulate come in contact with the carbon, despite its high surface area, it will actually clog up the pores and reduce the effective life of the carbon filter. Also keep in mind, pre-filters are not very expensive. They extend the life of the carbon filter and are easily washed and reused. All good positive aspects, which is the reason why they should be added. And if those get dirty, you can simply wash them out, clean them, throw them back on, and it really will help extend the life of the more expensive carbon filter and extend the life of your ability to reduce odors from your grow space.